Well, we have a, a very good match here. Rocky Rivera, who didn't get the uh, win in the last Battle Royal, and we had to give as many other people a chance, so we wanted to give him more of a spotlight to start off this show. And he is going to be taking on Scotty Springs, sizable fellow, very uh, huge veteran in all kinds of e-feds. But Rocky Rivera... He has a different outlook on life and, you know, the man himself. Oh, the things he's done. And now he is going to be trying to make a name for himself. Starting with this legend, Scotty Springs. A man who doesn't say much in the Fed. He was sort of sparking something, but then... Uh, And uh, later this weekend, I'll be involved in a little first blood match, folks. Don't mind telling you. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the wasteland. Weighing in at 379 pounds. Yes, he is. He is a big, powerful man. He has made waves. And he is taking on Rocky Rivera. Rocky Rivera, a different man now. He used to live in a river swamp. Now it's all about the ocean. He is definitely a whole different persona, but sometimes change is required, folks. And he is going to try and take on this veteran, this considerable threat. Another battle royal would be great, but I think we want to see what this man can do one-on-one. -on -one. What a great start. Oh, just stomp it on him. What a way to start this show. Someone with nothing but hope. And meanwhile, you're hearing about that, um... Oh, dear. What's... Oh! Hearing about that other fed. We'll see what that's about. In due time. Whoa! Sunset flip, I guess. One. Two. Whoa, what the hell? What was that? That that was done in no time. Holy Hannibals. Wow, it's amazing he got rid of him so quick, but I mean last time it didn't go so well. Here is your winner. Wow. The dream. Unbelievable, folks. Well, maybe we'll see him. In some future action. And later this week, and uh, we're going to be going on to the Battle Royal. Number two. Here we are with week two's Battle Royal. And we have eight more people vying for a spot 
for the contendership match. We know that Rock Roberts, who has been building himself up this month, has uh, gotten his spot for week three in the contendership match to see who will face Adam Oliver. Adam Oliver has a match this weekend against Scotty Springs. Just to see if he's worthy of title contention down the line, you never know. We got some old favorites and some new blood in this match. Oh, wait. Hold on. Adam is taking on Tony. He wants real. That's what he wants. Oh, my goodness. Well, I guess we're going to have to change that then. Adam just uh, texted the site, and he said he wants Tony Morrison. He wants to show that he has what it takes. He must think Scotty Springs isn't worth it. The following contest is in a elimination match. Making his way to the ring from Transylvania, weighing in at 160 pounds, Dynamite William Youngblood, the Necromancer. And yes, he is all talk. Not here, he doesn't do much. He has been seen in some live shows. But he will be in an eight-man battle royal. Maybe he will be facing Rock Roberts for that contentious spot. I do not know. And there he is. He won that false count anywhere match, and it was a brutal back and forth. Who knew who was going to win that one? I actually didn't. We don't choreograph our matches. I find that a waste of time. And not very fun. Scotty Saban 
He lost in a brutal battle to Scars, Michael Miner. But it was a back and forth battle. And he has a chance to redeem himself. Scotty's saving his show. <coughs> He has shown exceptional interest and activity in this company, which is what gets you exposure and eventually success. Here comes Bally Castle. He lost contendership for his first blood belt. I think that's who it was. No, Matt, it's not for his first blood belt, but for an intercontinental, international belt. That is a belt from another company. I'm um, having to look into that, what that's about. There's been some interpromotional business going on or moonlighting. hides in the shadows, but he is a longtime veteran of FBXW. And the bell rings. Miner going for a quick pin on Kevin. One. Valley Castle and Rob Hall going at it. Seven and Miller Lake going at it. Minor. Victorious over Sabin last week in a false count anywhere. How will he do in this battle royal? Right now he's down on the ground. Seven would like to redeem himself somehow, some way in this battle royal. Oh, and Valley Castle doing a flying shoulder block to Rob Hallsworth. And oh, Frank and Azzy going at it. Oh. And oh, Miller Lake kicked down by Seven. Yeah. 
Ballycast will do it. Oh, an amazing giant move. Gets Kevin down and Miller late. And now Rob Hallsworth going right back at him. Oh, and Miller late going to flying kick to Sabin. Oh, and Rob Hallsworth. DDT by Ballycastle. Oh, and a bowling ball by Miner. Valley Castle, a giant swanton on Rob Hallsworth. One, two, three. Oh, and was that a code breaker by Azzy? And Valley Castle's going for the pin. One, two, three. That was wild. By the way, power slam or back slam, reverse slam, I don't know what that was. The Valley Castle has Mike Miner. Oh, and he, re he gets out of a possible stunner. Oh, and Valley Castle does a crossbody. Oh, and Valley Castle just tossed around Mike Miner. Oh, now he's tossed around. Oh, and a leg drop on Sabin by Kevin. Oh, Ballet Castle going to pin. One, no. Oh. Uh oh, Sabin's going to take the Toronto train. Oh, and Miller Lake. Going at it with Azzy. Oh, Mike Miner. Mike, the referee is not doing his job. One, two. No, oh, that could have been a three count, but the referee took way too long. And Sabin. Oh, clothesline by Kevin. Sabin back up and oh, we almost got thrown over the rope, but that's not how it works. Azzy and Miller Light going at it. Oh, oh, pump up, power bomb, boom! One, two, three. I haven't seen one of those in a while, but there it was. In a battle royal, that's hard to do. And now him and Savin going at it with Kevin getting involved. Wow, he's getting... Oh, who was busted open? I can't tell. Was it Miller Light? I don't see anyone else. Oh, Mike Miner stopped the Toronto train on Savin. Another one. Oh, and Mike Miner in the corner. Seven down by Kevin. And the referee running around. One, two. Oh, my Lord. Seven is out. Oh, and as oh, Mike Miner gets Kevin before he can do anything to Azzy. Uh, maybe it's a little bit of um, old uh, faction loyalty. And uh oh, what's he doing there? One, two. That's gonna piss off somebody. Oh, and he kicks him before he can do anything else. Oh, and knocks him down. No light misses with a kick to Azzy. And as he oh, hangs him up on the line. And pump up power slam. And what's he gonna do now? As he and Mike Miner have things under control. Like good old times.
I don't know, maybe they want to be a tag team again. But as he, oh, gets thwarted in, oh, short run, power, pump up, power slam, whatever you call that. One, two, three, oh my god. Oh, this is getting dicey. Grabs Miller Light. Oh, he's a like carrot tops bastard child. Dazzy, oh, Dazzy might want to help his friend a little bit here. Oh, and he does. Oh, and a big kick. What the hell? Why did he do that? And then Mike Miner betrays his friend. I don't know if there was an alliance there. And as he's trying to return the favor, why on earth did he go out of his way to clothesline the referee? Two former misfits and someone who really is a misfit. As in Miller Lake going at it. Oh, and he knocks down Miller Lake. Flaunting in a Nazi space, perhaps? I don't know. And. Oh, Samoan drop. And oh, Miller Lake gets out of that. Puts him away, only to be back attacked. Oh, and then he grabs Azzy, and then, oh, Vulcan Arrow. One, two, no, Azzy gets out of that. This, this is a crazy final three here, folks. Uh-oh. Sharpshooter by Mike Miner. He is bending him. He is going to break him. Is he going to break him? Is Azzy going to hang on? Oh. And he's kicked out. Miller Light. Can't see with all the hair in his eyes. Uh oh. Little double teaming. You know, he catches Miller Light in a pump up power slam. And going for the pin. One. Two. No, he doesn't do it. Oh, no. Oh, he's got him in the move. Is Miller Lake going to save him? Is he going to... What's he going to do here? Oh, my God. Miller Lake's just letting him suffer. He's not going to stop him this time. Oh, no. But... Oh, he pulls him into a pin. One. Two. Oh, that was so close. And Miller Lake tries something, but he gets elbowed for his trouble. And, oh, oh. Pump up power bomb. And he goes with the pin. Come on, ref. One, two, three. Oh my god, now it's between these two. And as he's the first to grab. And oh, oh, he catches him. Mike Miner. As he, former misfits. Former tag team partners, and they are the last ones. And now he's dragging to the ropes. What's this about? Oh. One. Two. Oh. Close. Close. Oh. And as he goes down a little bit. And. Uh oh. Another one of these. Pump up. Power. Bomb. And. He goes for the pin. <coughs> one. Two. Unbelievable! This is bizarre. The way it just went down. Everyone going at it. Sam is doing okay there. But here is your winner. He had to face a former ally 
a former stable member. But now he faces Rock Roberts for a contendership for Adam Oliver's gold.